I-8, also on the I-10 near Palm Springs. Yes, uh, right. A lot of flooding. It sounds like everything's kind of back to normal, but for people coming in and out of Phoenix, uh, a lot of problems. Yep. Yeah, the Coachella Valley over there is surrounded by mountains. you got the San Andreas Fault on one side, Mount San Jacinto on the other, and it just drained right down along the I-10, so it was rough going over there. Palm Springs, Cathedral City, Palm Desert area, Rancho Mirage has some wind damage as well. We had those wind gusts. It was a big wind event for us. More of a wind and rain for western Arizona. No rain for us, but we had wind gusts in excess of 43 miles an hour over the weekend due to the passage of what was Hurricane Hillary. Now we've got some of the moisture that was brought up from the south on the tail end of Hillary as it moved to the north. So we've had four hundredths of an inch of rain over at Sky Harbor, still over an inch and a half below normal, but at least it's something. I mean, we've gone so long over 140 plus days without measurable rain last week. We finally got a little bit last week. We're starting to add to that, starting to add to our wind gusts uh, total as well. We just uh, clocked 37 miles an hour down in Costa Grande, 35 in Maricopa. So these showers aren't done just yet. But the benefit was a lot of clouds today, 91 degrees. It hasn't been this cool since about mid May. So yeah, that's a big difference. It's only 83 degrees outside right now. And yes, it's very humid and sticky out there. 65 degree dew points winds out of the north northwest at seven uh, temperatures in the 70s down in the southeast corner of the valley where they had some rain earlier this afternoon and this evening. The splash and dash showers will continue. You can tell it was raining today up in Flagstaff only 71 only 68 at the Grand Canyon. Still a flood watch for the Kaibab Plateau in the Grand Canyon area. And we've got a flood advisory in Tucson. So this is significant because we still have showers to the south of us in the Casa Grande area. So these splash and dash, these fast moving showers will continue for the next several hours into the overnight because look at this feeder band. There is a lot of moisture coming up from the south. It's all connected. Remember I told you I was blaming my parents last week. It's all connected to this high pressure ridge smack dab over Iowa. They had heat indices that feels like temperatures approaching 120, 130 in some of those rural communities with all that corn sweating. There's another tropical depression. This one could be named Harold overnight. Why an H? Because it's an Atlantic storm. And yes, all that moisture is moving west across central Mexico. So by Wednesday, it could influence another round of showers here in the valley. So let's keep these showers going. Spotty showers overnight tonight and for the next several hours. Tropical moisture is a question mark on Wednesday. Temperatures will actually be below average through Thursday, but then it stops Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, we dry out and look at that. We warm up again 110 plus by Sunday and Monday of next week. I wish that heat was still also a question right? mark. I like know those storms, but uh, <laughs> boy, we're in for it again next week. So thanks.